Like what's happening on a cellular level when people are having those symptoms after something like COVID? Especially when you get to global symptoms like post-exertional fatigue or brain fog, as we like to call it, that is essentially either a body-wide or a system-wide problem. The reason it happened, which is why would you get one group of symptoms and I get another group and then my brother gets none of them. A big part of it that we have to understand, and one of the things about the SARS family of virus, and especially SARS-CoV-2, is the mechanics of it are a little different than, say, an influenza virus, which is close, but not the same, or an adenovirus or one of these other viruses. They all do these little tricky things to get in your cells and infect. But with SARS, and especially with SARS-CoV-2, what happens is they have extraordinary ways of getting to the cell, and then they do a switching where they switch the chemistry of immune invasion so to make you know you a better target, they turn on a lot of chemistry that says, oh, let's overdo the inflammatory response, for example. That's great because that's built into us, but it's supposed to also shut off at a certain point. So they have a way to kind of keep the fire going. If we do that, what we know now through tons and tons of research is that then will go to the very parts of your cell that make it work at its base level and completely rewrite the code of how it's supposed to work. So there's tons of stuff in your cell that makes it work. But if you think of the two biggest things that make your cell be a normal acting cell, one is the mitochondria where we make our energy. And then the other is the nuclear membranes where we make our DNA and all of that and cell division. And it turns out that all of this, you know, excessive imbalanced immunochemistry just beats up on those areas. And so they don't come out the other side as healthy as possible. If you do that to your brain and you do it in a certain part of your brain, you might not have a sense of smell or taste. If you do it in another part of your brain, you may just feel fatigued all the time. If you do it in all of the main cells in your body, they just will turn down. It's sort of like they're running in first gear all the time and you'll feel tired all the time. Or post-exertional fatigue, which most people now that we're talking to have probably had COVID at least once, if not multiple times. And I recall very distinctly the second time that I had it, going back and trying to do my regular workout, thinking I was better, I felt better. But the same workout that I could have done three weeks earlier had me feeling like I had never worked out in my life. And I had to do these baby steps to get my conditioning back, which is basically what post-exertional fatigue is. So it's a huge thing. And it goes back to the fact that the virus virus and then all of these little chemical signaling things that the virus has these special genetics to turn on and keep going and all that, they change your cells in a way where your cells, you look like you, but you don't feel like you and you can't operate like you. The good news is it doesn't have to stay that way, but the bad news is that it stays that way longer than any of us want it to stay that way. We hope you liked today's podcast clip. And if you wanna learn more, check out the Root Cause Medicine podcast on Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts.